question? Yes. Well, I had a question about the homework. Yeah, yeah, I, I was actually going to ask about So you have homework that you do tonight. Um, that's uh, under week seven. So um, what's your question, Javier? Uh, one second, let me, let me find it. OK. <laughs> Is it out of the reading or the problem set? Uh, the problem set. OK. By the um, so this will become available after midnight tonight. So if you can get started on you know, peer grading when you want to, uh, out of the problems, all right. Um, um, it's always possible that there's a mistake in the problem set or a typo of some so sort. It's about going from joules to electron volts. Um, it's probably somewhere near the end. Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, it, was, it was before this, so. OK. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um, so to tell you the truth, you can actually do this one by using Wolfram Alpha. I mean, you know, I'm not recommending this, but you can actually do it this way. You can type in what is one electron volt in joule? And Wolfram Alpha will tell you that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joule. <laughs> and it is, um, so I mean, don't do it that way. So the reason I wrote this up as a separate um, question is, that um, so electron volt is it's one of the kind of it's close to a natural unit of energy especially as we do quantum mechanics you will see electron volts way more than a joule because joule is a it's a really unintuitively large amount of energy joule was perfectly fine when you had one kilogram of mass that you're going to lift by up a one meter then you did 10 joules of work that was perfectly fine as we start describing microscopic particles like electrons, protons, joule becomes unreasonably large. So that's why we are introducing a new non-SI unit of energy, electron volt. And the point of this exercise is uh, for you to have some sort of intuition for electron volt. And um, let me say what I want to say and see if that answers <laughs> some of your, your question. And electron volt is kind of what it sounds like. Let me write it out. So one electron, and I guess uh, I might have dash, uh, but let me write it this way. El one electron times volt. That is really the unit of one electron volt. Well, what is one electron? That's an object, not a, you know, you could have a bunch of things. Uh, but I'm multiplying something to a volt, trying to get an energy. So this better be some kind of charge, right? So this is one electron charge, or lowercase e, that we use for electron charge or elementary charge, times, well, volt is what it sounds like, one volt. Um, you can express this in coulombs, multiply that. That should give you the answer in joules. Right? Let me try that on Wolfram Alpha. I mean, you know, not in the way I just did it, but in the other way. One elementary charge. Uh, times one volt. And that should give you some quantity of energy. And that is, uh, um, that is you know, this many joules. And that is what one electron volt is. So I remember the first quantum mechanics class I took, I was asking the professor during a midterm, like, do you have a conversion factor for one electron volt to joule? And he says he didn't have to give me one. I didn't understand it then. But <laughs> this is why he didn't have to give me one, because if you understood how the unit was constructed, you would know that from elementary charge and whatnot. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I, yeah. I saw that they were the same, because I might have yeah, yeah, so, yeah, because it's a charge times, uh, it's literally the charge times the volts. So you get the same number, but the coulomb turns into joule. Yeah, it's not meant to be a difficult question. Yes? Samuel? I have a different question. Sure. 13? 13, okay. Um, all right. Let me, uh, tell me what you think it is, and I will tell you how to put in the correct answer. So you said it's 8.9 times what? 19. 8.19? Yeah. OK, 8.19 times, what's the power of 10? Uh, not necessarily. This power of 10 to minus 13 is assuming a particular value here. 
All right, let's uh, plug in the numbers and first to uh, get an answer, and then I will. Um, so you have to watch out for units. That's what it comes down to. Let me just to do, L, you know. So all right, uh, I need electron mass times the, it's the rest energy, right? Yeah. Times c squared, and hopefully it'll give me an answer. In one of the answers will be in SI units, and one of the answers in SI units. All right, there it is. 8.19 times. 10 to minus 14 joule. That's the answer you get out of your calculator. When you look at the question carefully, pay attention to the units, please. I'm not asking you for the answer in the units of 10 to minus 14. I'm asking you the answer in the units of 10 to minus 13 joule. So, well, um, do you know how to shift to decimals? And so this is equal to 0 0.819 times 10 to minus 13 joule. Yeah. yeah, you have to watch out for units, and especially as we go into quantum mechanics and we are dealing with either extremely small numbers or extremely large numbers, it does include these powers of 10. In your homework question, I try to put in the powers of 10 that I think is reasonable for you so that you, can, you don't have to put in scientific notation stuff in your numerical answer. Times 10 to minus 29 kilograms. Wait, 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 wait. 9.1 times 10 to minus, yeah, minus 31, sorry. Um, it's this one that I prefer because when you round 0 0.911, it rounds to 1. So if I want to only want to be precise within 10%, I only have to remember electron mass is 10 to minus 30 kilograms. Not that I, I actually don't have that memorized. But OK, you're asking me to justify why did I pick the decimal point of, that I picked? Because I want you to. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a mistake. Unless it's actually numerically different from the correct value, it's not a mistake. I can choose the decimal point I want. I could have written this. I could have said the mass is 0 0.0911 times 10 to minus 29 kilogram, and that still would have been correct. Like, it's a, a bit nonsensical way to pick it, but that, that's not wrong. <laughs> it's still correct. No, yeah. correct. Yeah, but what you have to get practice on is uh, watching out for these powers of 10. Uh, that's one of the rookie mistakes, beginning, engineering, whatever students to make. They just get this uh, head number and think that's it. No, the rest of the unit matters. Yeah, and let me just put in the numbers to prove that that is a 0 0.819 actually gives you the correct answer. Uh, when? Oh. Yeah. That one was correct, right? Okay. Yeah. So you know, watch out the watch the units. That's really what it comes down to.